Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, this will be episode four of the Spitfire. Um, so today we're going to be taking this rollover jig behind me um, that I bought off some bloke on Facebook Marketplace. Um, definitely homemade. Uh, we're going to be taking that. Um, you put a scaffolding pole through the middle of the car. We're going to be welding it in to spots in the car. Lift the car up. Put the um, the jig on either side so we can turn the body to have upside down and then we'll get to work on the floor pans. I've just put the jig in here at the moment. The um, You'll have one of these at either end of the car. So there'll be one at the front, one at the back, and this is the scaffolding pole that we're going to put through the middle of the car. Hopefully that'll be strong enough to hold the whole thing up. So that's the front support bar welded up and bolted in there. I've got the um, the back one here, it's been welded up. The welding's not fantastic, but I think it will hold. Um, so let's put that in the back here now. It's just going to go in here like this. So that's the bar now firmly secured down the middle of the car, at least I hope so. Um, we're going to lift it up and put it on these um, jig things here and then see if it holds. So we've got the car up on its side. Um, the damage is a little bit worse than we thought originally. Gonna have to replace all these cells and stuff. All, all of these cells were filled with this body filler stuff. So it's gonna be quite a big, big job, but um, we're gonna get started on it. All 
Right, so just mocking up the um, the new floor pan. I've cut most of it out. I've just got to do all the tiling up, all the edges. Um, this bit was probably the hardest bit to try and cut all that out. So this can go under there. I've got to recreate down here. If you can see, can't quite see, but there's, there's a whole big hole here. Um, I've got to recreate that, and then I'm going to have to buy a new one of these brackets, which um, welds in there like that. Um, I have to buy a new one of those because I mangled that and it's pretty rusty. But yeah, it's looking like it's going to fit. Um, I'm only going to do uh, one side at a time because I think if I cut both of them out at once, I think the whole thing might collapse. But yeah, it's getting there. Alright, so as you can see, I've roughly cut out the floor pan. Um, just working my way through these um, spot welds that hold the bottom bit on here and drilling out the um, spot welds that hold it onto this plate here. So that's that um, plate replaced there. Um, this is what it looked like before. I might get away with salvaging this one. I'll grind it back and see how thin it is. But if not, we'll just do the same to this one. Um, we can now mock the floor pan up and uh, see if it fits. guys so that's going to be a wrap for this video i think we've got this um passenger side floor pan completely in it's all welded in around here and all the bottom we need to weld this brace in um so that's all fully done and solid then we've got this inner cell piece that we've created that's going to go in there like that this is where the original one went down here and then i've made up all the pieces to recreate in here. I've just got to cut a hole out that goes under that one. Like that. I've got to cut the hole out. And cut all of this out and I've made all the pieces to go in there as a template. That'll be in the next video. Doing all this and getting this um, cell on. That'll be going all in here. I'm torn whether to replace this or not. I mean it's not rusty. It's just a little bit out of shape where I've been... Um, taking the old cell off and we need to get the um, as a panel needs to go in here and apart from that oh we need to repair down here recreate that as well and that should all match up along here and then the cell can go on that will all be in the next video 
and then we can crack on with getting this other floor pan in. Thank you very much for watching guys. Um, if you're liking this, please subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and stuff. But yeah, sorry it's been a while since my last um, upload. Um, I've just bought my first house and it's been uh, taking quite a little bit of time. But um, And also, I'll show you this, I've been working on this engine. So, you know. so yeah, I've been um, I've got a new engine for my Allegro and it's having to be fully rebuilt and it's taken a fair bit of work. Um, the crank was one of the worst cranks I've ever seen and that's off at the machine shop so I'm waiting for that to come back but that's a 1750 engine for the Allegro and it's going to have a twin carbs on it it should be pretty good when it's done but yeah that's that's also going on in the background but um yeah so we'll be cracking on with this in the next video um hopefully get these cells on front and rear thank you very much for watching guys mm -hmm.